Hello, uh, this is a tutorial on how to uh, find out someone's password on the same computer without being the admin. Uh, I made a tutorial previously on this on my second channel, but you actually have to be admin to do that. So, uh, we're going to be using something called OPH Crack. And uh, here, let's just Google it right now. I'll put the link in the description. So, I'm gonna just going to go to the first link and it takes us to their home page. Uh, we want to download the live CD, not the all platform one, the live CD. Okay, uh, you want to download the Oakcrack XP live CD for XP and then you want to download the Vista one for Vista and Windows 7. Uh, I've already downloaded one of these since I have Windows 7, I would be using, uh, I would download this one. So just click that, download it, and yeah, you're set. Okay, uh, let's just pretend I have downloaded it, and I'm just going to, oh yeah, actually, not yet. And then the second thing you have to do is you have to download a, uh, it, a CD burner. So what I like to use is Power ISO free I'll put the link in, this, in the description as well so just press download and then just press one of these links and I assume you know how to download things uh, okay so once you've got that and one of these which is going to take a long time to download so just be patient you should have it in your downloads or something I have it here but this is actually not the real thing because I stopped it in the middle of downloading so so once you double click it, open it in Power ISO, you want to press burn right here. Insert a blank CD and press burn. I'm not going to do that because I've already had it burned. But I have it for XP, so not for Windows 7. So it's not going to work on this one. So, uh, yeah. So once you have it burned, you're going to want to restart your computer and I will show you from there. Okay. Okay, I'm on my computer right here, and I got my uh, OPH crack right CD right here, and I'm gonna just put it in my this drive like that, and I'm going to restart my computer. Just press restart, and just let that restart, and then. Uh, we're gonna boot it from that CD we just put in. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to get into the boot menu by pressing Escape. Okay. So yeah, you should get something like this. Uh, yours. You might not be pressing Escape. You might be pressing F2, F6, or F12 or also escape but uh, yeah you should be get, getting something like this one that says like CD, DVD, ROM, drive or hard, your hard drive basically right now usually start with your hard drive but uh, for this you want to start with our CD slash DVD because that is what we put in hopefully my computer will actually read the disk because it's this drive is horrible oh it actually did Okay, so as you can see, it popped up the o or the OPH Crack Live CD uh, menu thing. What you want to do is go into oh shoot. Well, if you want to go into the graphics mode, I waited too long, so it did it automatically. Uh, but that's okay. That's the one we want to get into, anyways. So yeah, just wait for it to be done with this. Okay, so once you get into this window right here, uh, you're going to want to just delete all the users you don't want to find their passwords for. So, I don't want to find a, I just want to find these four pass four passwords right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press crack, and this might take some time, and it's going to slowly crack uh, and try to find 
their passwords. So it will eventually show up in NT passwords right here. So it looks like this user's password is just a B. That's it. It's just one B. So it already figured that one out. Uh, now I just have to figure out the other two passwords. And I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, done with it. And as you can see, see, it found all these three passwords. Like this one's B, and this one's Nandy, and stuff like that. Okay, uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, just restart your computer, and that should be it. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this tutorial, and I hope this helped. And goodbye.